the world is changed. Gerard, I suspect you have a good reason for pulling me away from my duties. Your vodka can wait, my good Alexei. Come, stand here. You need to see this. I know all about this, Sir Gerard. We've all seen the tapes a hundred... You've seen nothing. Dissecting a dead Zerg in a lab is one thing. Unleashing them on men is another. You must go into this with both eyes open. Once started, there's no going back. Are you prepared to go all the way with this, Alexei? Yes. Yes, I am prepared to go all the way, my good Admiral. Good. Good. I knew I could count on you. Admiral, the colonist base will be overrun in a matter of minutes. Shall we intervene? Take us into orbit, Mr. Malmsteen. We've seen enough. once brought fear to all who heard it. But now we can all rest easy as our own forces now occupy their very homeworld of Char. Months have passed since our initial confrontation with the Zerg, and now Directorate forces have taken control of the planet Char, long since rumored to cradle the malevolent Overmind of the Zerg. The Overmind itself, an enormous living brain-like entity, dictates control of all the myriad Zerg forces, and it was believed to be planning an invasion of the Earth itself. 
Once on the offensive, our highly trained directorate forces were more than a match for the beast like Zerg. Even their fiercest warrior breed could not defeat the greatest military technology in the galaxy. The Zerg forces on Char were completely decimated and their losses were tallied in the millions. But all wars have casualties, and while directorate losses were minimal, the fleet's Vice Admiral Stukov gave his life during the final valiant assault on Char. Memorial services were held aboard the directorate flagship Alexander. Vice Admiral Stukov truly knew the meaning of sacrifice. Yet his sacrifice was not in vain. The Obermind itself was the prize of the battle. Even now, Directorate Psychics and powerful drugs are keeping the creature pacified. The Overmind will undergo extensive research to ensure the continued safety of the United Earth Directorate and of all mankind.